Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about something that, you know, if you've uh, uh, been subscribed to this channel, watched my stuff for quite some time, particularly years now, you may remember I talked about something very specific regarding the Friday the 13th franchise. Now, of course, I talked about this film and the entire franchise a lot this summer. And before that summer, we talked about each of the individual films. I talked about the franchise quite a bit. Um, last year, at the in that last October, of course, I mentioned the, the box set from Scream Factory that this came from that I got. You know, just the, my general thoughts of the uh, the films and the presentation and all that. You know, I, I you know gave my overall thoughts on the set. Enjoyed it. I still enjoy it. Think it's I think it's great and excellent, fantastic. Um, now, um, this is of course a essentially a bonus video. And what I mean by that is, this is a video I didn't at all expect to make. Uh, now, but because it's the end of October, and though of course everyone's already talked about it, and I'm basically completely late to the party on this, but again, I, t I did all my uh, horror film videos um, way in advance, and could never have predicted uh, this sort of outcome regarding uh, this franchise. Well, specifically this movie, Friday the 13th. Now, I mentioned years ago on this channel because years ago I talked about the lawsuit pertaining to this movie with Victor Miller and the all uh, legal battle with Sean Cunningham and Horror Inc. And if you hear all that stuff, well, that's the uh, my computer right here. Um, because I'm going to read this uh, Friday the 13th lawsuit appeal, victory, and who won. And, um, yeah. So I will just uh, get right to it. This was posted September 30th, 2021. And I am recording this few days afterwards so this is actually still fairly new but of course by the time you all see it it will not be new anymore so the Friday the 13th lawsuit appeal victory goes to Victor Miller Friday the 13th officially belongs to Victor Miller the screenwriter has won the appeal in the case for the rights to the Friday the 13th franchise. Well, not the franchise, just the, the original film only. Um, sending Sean Cunningham and Horror Inc. to defeat. That means Miller will claim ownership of the domestic rights of the franchise going forward. Which is interesting. Well, I don't know. I, this article seems to be uh, a bit mistaken. It's really only the rights to this film only. Uh, not all to the sequels, you know, he, because he was only able to uh, uh, go to try and get his rights back to the film that he wrote and none of the other sequels or the reboot. Uh, that happened after this movie. Um, so only this movie, really. But there's a whole bunch of articles, and I thought this one isn't too long, but it just talks enough about it that it's fine. Though, of course, it does have these errors, but hey, whatever. This is uh, bleedingcool.com. So, there you go. There's the source, I guess, for you. Now, that does not mean he owns the rights to the adult Jason Voorhees, but the franchise name, the first film, belongs to him. That does not mean Miller is free and clear to do as he pleases with the franchise. There are still many, many deals to be made behind the scenes. 
The Hollywood Reporter and Valuable during all of this had the report. So that's interesting. Um, but from everything I saw, it was really mostly just for this, the rights to only this movie. I don't know about the franchise rights, or the name, but okay. Uh, because international rights, uh, Horror Inc. still owns Friday the 13th and all that. And as far as I've gone, I I've known when I followed this suit, it was really only this movie, so I don't know what this article really is talking about. With the franchise has been the name is only his. Um, the whole argument boils down to this. When Miller was hired to write the first Friday the 13th film, Cunningham argues it was a work-for-hire situation and that he should have no claim to the copyright of the screenplay in the first place. As a court ruled in 2018, um, the, judge, the trial judge had ruled that the rights go to Miller after all these years under the Copyright Act's termination right, which allows the author to regain the rights to the work they signed over to the company. Cunningham and Horror Inc. were hoping that the Second Circuit Court of Appeals would uh, turn the decision over. The Second uh, Circuit Court of the Appeals was asked to decide if Miller will keep the rights to the Friday screenplay as decided in the 2018, or if it will revert back to Cunningham and Horror Inc., they have sided with Miller. Now, this could go to the Supreme Court uh, still, but nobody seems sure if that will happen. Um, this is not completely unlike the what is happening with Marvel and Disney right now, and this case is a very high-profile example of going to... Uh, send shockwaves through Hollywood. Make no mistake, this will be happening more and more now, and I feel the horror franchises are going to be where we see the most actions and suits being filed. For now, Jason will lay, still lie dormant while whatever backdoor meetings take place, but this is a significant step in seeing him stalk victims on the screen again. So, Victor Miller has the rights to the first film. Um, not sure about the whole franchise thing. That's completely new to me. Uh, I didn't see that in other articles, but hey, um, who knows? Maybe they've edited stuff since. But as far as I know, it was just only for the first movie. And uh, basically the rights of this film belong to Victor Miller, which then means, like, you know, adult Jason is still able to be in films, future films. Um, though, Camp Crystal Lake, not sure. You know, uh, I don't know how many people would want to see Jason Voorhees um, uh, in a camp setting that isn't called uh, Chris, Camp Crystal Lake. There can be a workaround with Mrs. Voorhees, uh, as she was given the name Pamela in part four on her tombstone. So there is that. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, it seems as if the suit as of now is done. I don't know if they will go to the Supreme Court. Um, that would just then. Uh, ha just make fit prolong things even more um, uh, for me I think it would be in the best interest of everybody to just try and make some sort of deal so a new movie can get made within the next uh, however many years few years at the latest you know people could be possibly uh, sometime from now begin to write a new Friday the 13th film and then Hopefully, some sort of agreement could be made with Victor Miller and Sean Cunningham and all this so that a new movie can be made, possibly two, who knows. You know, it'd be, again, you know, you'd be, obviously you'd want to plan for more than just one movie afterwards, but, you know, I guess it'd be good to plan one now. But, um, yeah, I'll leave the link uh, to this in the description down below. 
but yeah, it's it's nice to hear that a decision has been made, and uh, because the first ruling was in Victor Miller's favor uh, with the appeal court, it, things were gonna likely just go to, to uh, Victor Miller again. It's it seems in situations like this that it's quite rare that things revert the other way. Um, uh, hopefully, uh, the whole Supreme Court thing does not happen, but who knows? Of course, Cunningham and Horror Inc. have the rights to, uh, you know, uh, international rights, but it's just really only American uh, 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 America that Victor Miller owns the rights. <clears throat> oh, that is a huge market for the film and franchise as a whole. You know, these are very much American movies. Of course, people around the world, you know, love and enjoy Friday the 13th, but, you know, that these are really uh, American uh, films to a good extent. Um, now, uh, You know, it would be great to uh, see them finally come together and say, let's just make a new movie, you know, regardless of Victor Miller has any hand in writing it. They can get writers and everything, and people who really love the franchise to come together and just make something that everybody can enjoy. You know, it would be the 13th film in the franchise, so that would be, you know, You'd want that to be incredibly special and something people would love and uh, just care about and enjoy. Um, but we will have to wait and see. Um, I just want to see a brand new movie. A movie that's excellent. You know, uh, first film of this franchise I saw was the reboot in 2009. And then last year I got to see the original for its 40th anniversary. I would love to see more uh, of them on the big screen. Uh, be they uh, uh, re-releases of the other films, early films, or a brand new film. I would really love to see a brand new film, but, you know, whatever. If Friday the 13th theatrical release can or will happen, you know, I will take, um, but I would love to see a brand new movie out of the franchise, um, so yeah, um, that's really all I have to say, um, my thoughts on this as well as the overall article, uh, if anything happens, I might make another video, I hope nothing does happen, um, they're just able to come together and just put any and all differences aside that may be there and just focus on making something good. Um, uh, I know a lot of people were bummed out with the game. Um, I enjoy the game for what it is, though. I prefer single player over the multiplayer. multiplayer. Um, that's just how I have always been. There's very rare games I find multiplayer to be really great and excellent at myself. Of course, that's just me. Um, though I do wish that the single player that they do have, uh, um, I don't know. It's fine for how it is, but I, or what it is, but it would have been. I don't know. It, I think it could have been a bit, uh, a little better, but you know that's me. Um, yeah, a lot of people were disappointed with how production stopped on the game, but then again, the company, you know, they do want to make other games, so they don't want to just focus on the, only that game because whatever other games they have, it's like, well, you gotta put that on hold. And, of course, the whole right stuff with certain Jasons and such. You know, it'd be cool to have Uber Jason and all, but... Well, 
we got uh, we've got what we have with the game, and you know I'm happy with it. Um, hopefully, you guys are. Um, I am happy that this suit is over. Hopefully, it will stay over, and absolutely nothing will come from this afterwards. And it won't go to the Supreme Court. Um, because again, I think people want people want a new movie. And I believe everybody involved knows that. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I want a new movie. I want to see something, uh, a brand new movie on the big screen. That's what I would prefer over seeing re-releases of some of the older films. Um, uh, though I would be happy to see part two, three, or four on the big screen sometime in the near future. But I would also really love to see a new movie. Um, be that any continuation from uh, part, uh, or the reboot, part 12, whatever you want to call it, or not. Um, I just want to see Friday the 13th on the big screen again. Um, yeah. Not sure when that will happen, of course. Um, but, you know, this is something that uh, uh, I thought I probably should talk about as this year and last year and over so many years I talked about Friday the 13th and this lawsuit. But, you know, until there was a, some sort of definitive conclusion i wasn't gonna really you know talk more about it because you know every so often every so many months or so here, here's a you know an update on uh the, the case and it's like absolutely like nothing happened uh, no decision has gotten closer you know you know it's not like it's victor miller or so close to winning or Sean Cunningham Horror Inc. was closer to winning for, for the longest time. It was just people talking about what pe we basically knew. And that was like, yeah, and I didn't want to be one of those people who just re regurgitated the same stuff. Um, and now for nothing new. But, you know, this is good news. Hopefully it will stay good news and stuff will actually get going and a uh, new movie can be in the works sometime in the near future. I think that would be great. Um, yeah. So what do you think about this? Are you happy? Are you sad with the decision? Um, are you ha hopeful in the next so many years a new movie hopefully will possibly get made? Um, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah. I hope you're all having a great day. Hope you're all have a great weekend and a great week. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.